So what are the issues that are going to impact your vote if you haven't voted already? Public safety has been a point of discussion from the start of this campaign, and every major candidate has tried to offer their own solutions. We are going to change the culture of safety on the TTC. We will have the latest technology, the best trained special constables, and enforce the rules that exist to protect people. That was the pledge of Toronto's former police chief coming forward in the early campaign, a promise to incorporate TTC special constables into the police service and increase the number to at least 200. Anthony Fury has since taken it a step further. We need a greater visible police presence and we can't have that visible presence with the headcount we have right now. Fury says he will hire 500 new police officers and increase the number of neighborhood patrols. He has also repeatedly said he plans to shut down the city's supervised injection sites as a contributing factor. On the other hand, expanding the city's community crisis service is a priority for Olivia Chow. This service has been piloted at 60% of the city. It works well and has been hugely successful. Improving 911 wait times is also at the top of Chow's list with a new emergency response transformation team. I want a Toronto that is safe. I want a city that is affordable. I want a city that works. Josh Matlow has promised a $115 million community health and safety fund to combat root causes of violent crime, including safe spaces for at-risk youth. The money would come from freezing the police budget for three years. Anna Bailau also plans to expand the community crisis service project citywide, in addition to new mobile mental health clinics in high-priority neighborhoods. The former councillor also wants to hire additional staff and add more surveillance on transit. The plan tackles the issues on the subways, but it also talks about how we need to create public safety in our streets. And Mitzi Hunter believes increasing public safety starts with working with community partners to combat the issue with more programs, services and support while creating a new position at City Hall to oversee it all. Hiring a chief mental health officer, relaunching Toronto mental health support strategy. For a detailed look at candidate platforms on this issue and more, just visit the special Toronto election section on our website. Mark McAllister, City News.